Hi, I'm Dan Benjamin. I'm the founder of 5 by 5 where I do a whole bunch of audio and video podcasts. And today I'm going to be talking to you about mic stands. You know, you think when you start uh, becoming a podcaster, you say, I, I just need a good microphone, right? Yes, you do need a good microphone, but you also need a way to put that microphone up here so it'll get the sound of your voice when you're talking. And uh, there are so many options people don't even realize, especially when they're first starting out, they, uh, they go and they get something like this, one of these, uh, this is perfectly fine, it's like a 10 to $20 uh, little, little mic stand, and that's fine, you can put your microphone right into this and, and it'll do the job nicely, uh, until you realize that every single little bump uh, on the desk gets picked up and transferred for your microphone. And, then you're sitting in your chair talking to your mic like that and you realize that's not the most fun thing. Are there any other options? And yes, there are a ton of them and I'm going to tell you about them. Uh, helping me tell you about them today is my friend, the Heil PR40, a great go-to broadcast mic. It's not a cheap mic. It's a dynamic uh, broadcast microphone that'll cost you in the $300 to $350 range, not a toy. Uh, a lot of pros use this mic for broadcast work and it's great. It was designed by Heil to uh, be compatible with the RE20, one of the most widespread go-to mics in radio broadcasting. Uh, the folks at Ohio were smart and they said, if we make this thing fit into all the stuff that the RE20 fits into, all the stands, booms, everything, uh, maybe we can get better adoption. And the plan worked. Uh, when you buy one of these microphones, as with most microphones that come with a little attachment like this that lets you uh, attach it to the microphone, and then it just screws into your mic stand. The problem with these though, is that they don't provide you with uh, really any kind of uh, noise elimination. There's a lot of small vibrations and things. If you tap the desk, if you're typing on a keyboard while you're recording something, if uh, you know, who knows, you set your coffee mug down, all of these things get picked up and transferred into the microphone and they actually will sound very, very loud, believe it or not, very loud when uh, when you're recording them. Uh, so that's what the shock mount, that spider looking thing that goes around the microphone does. It helps eliminate that. And the better the the stand that you have and the, then the shock mount, the better you will uh, do eliminating those uh, extraneous noises and a big difference it will make. And they also do a lot to get that thing up so that right now I'm standing, but if you're, if you're sitting or whatever position you want to be in, being able to position that microphone right in front of you, huge, huge, huge thing. Now you'll notice I'm not talking into a microphone. I've got no lav mic. That's because I'm speaking into a shotgun microphone, which I'm, uh, I will talk about in another uh, video. You'll also notice that there is a pop filter on the front of this microphone. Again, another thing that was designed for the RE20, but fits perfectly on a Heil PR40. This is uh, only made by one company, sold in one place. It's by BSW and it's called the uh, either Repop or REPOP 27. And that's it. And it bolts on pretty much permanently to your, uh, to your PR40 or your RE20. Uh, but just, you'll see that on all of these mics. It's not standard equipment, so I wanted to mention it. Uh, and now on to the microphone stands. As I mentioned, the cheapest entry level route is something like this. These are perfectly fine. This one is made by Samson. Uh, they make a really great one. This base is super heavy. This screws into it and uh, down it goes. Put your microphone into it. These things are the workhorses uh, you'll find everywhere, but uh, they might not suit what you want to do. Uh, Samson is just one of many manufacturers of these. Uh, very high quality, but you might want more than that. Uh, one thing I want to mention also, when you buy a, a, a stand, frequently the stand will, other than a desktop stand, but one that's like a boom, they will come with uh, a clamp like this, which you, which you can clamp up and tighten onto your desk. And then this here will tighten and hold the post and keep your microphone from moving. Most people never tighten them. In fact, they usually just take them out because they're moving their microphones all over the place like I do. Uh, these are great and these allow you to mount a boom or an arm pretty successfully. Hold on to them when they ship, even if you, uh, even if you find you're gonna go with a different solution eventually. Uh, but I wanna talk about those a little bit more in a minute uh, after I move from desktop stands. Another really popular desktop stand, this one is made by Heil, but again, it can work with most mics because these thread sizes are, uh, are compatible. This is the Heil CB1 PTT stand. 
Really nice stand, weighted base. It's got this little switch here, a little switch. That it allows you to connect to this port here and you can have like a push to talk or push to mute switch to go along with this. If that sounds complicated uh, or not interesting to you, then just ignore it and know that this is a nice stand. Uh, you may recognize this stand, and I'll talk about the shock mount in a second. You might recognize this stand from uh, if you've ever watched uh, Leo Laporte on Twit. This is the very stand that they have on their desks there. I believe Tom Merritt uses this on the Daily Tech News Show. We've used this many times when we're, when we're doing just a quick thing. But you'll notice, I'm, now again, I'm standing, but even if I was sitting, this doesn't go exactly where, where I might want it to go. Um, I might feel like inclined to lean forward like this. That's bad posture. So you're going to want to like turn your gain up and then you might pick up more background noise than you want. But just be be aware that uh, that you're a little bit far away from a mic like this. Now, wait, wait a minute. What is this spider looking thing? This is that uh, shock mount that I was talking about. This particular shock mount is Heil's shock mount. The PRSM is the name of it. This one's black. They come in silver. They're about $100. Uh, but if you can see, they have these elastic uh, pieces here that, that uh, are essentially like fabric coated rubber bands that try and uh, eliminate that sound that vibrations like that. You imagine if you're bouncing your desk, that thing is just going to uh, absorb all of that sound and prevent uh, that from being transferred and picked up by the microphone. So uh, you, you always want to have some kind of shock mount on your microphone. You just, you just must have it. You must have it. I'm telling you, you've got to have it. Uh, here is another even bigger, more professional stand. Yeah, this one, you might see this in a recording studio in front of uh, a drum set, like miking a kick drum or something. And this is the Proline MS112BK. I first saw these on the Dan Patrick Show. And uh, the reason that, that they work so well is this bass is like cast iron or something. This thing is super, super heavy. Why do you want it to be heavy? Well, comparing it to this uh, Heil boom, this thing has quite a, quite a reach and quite a range on it. And if, uh, if this bass wasn't as heavy as it was, this microphone would tip when it was fully extended. But now look at this. I'll show you the size. See, I can get right where I want to be on that microphone. And I've talked about mic technique in another video. I can get right where I want to in front of this microphone. And I can have this thing be far away. Nice, I could have this sitting on the desk. I could have my laptop right here. I could have a keyboard right here. I've got some space. And, uh, and to be honest, it, it looks heavy duty. It looks pretty cool. Uh, it's, it's, it's really nice. It's even got a little detachable uh, clip that will hold in place your, uh, your microphone cable and take it out of the way. Super adjustable. Really, really nice option. Another one. Here is uh, another mic stand similar to the Samson one that I showed you in the beginning, but this one has an extendable height on it. It, it is kind of silver. We don't use it a lot because it's super distracting on camera. But again, if, if you're just recording a podcast, uh, you know, for, for the $20, $30 range, this one's pretty nice. Again, all these will be in the show notes. And uh, another PRSM shock mount up there. What if you don't like that spider PRSM shock mount? What if you don't like that? Well, it, it is... Uh, isn't the only choice that you have. This is the Electro Voice Model 309A, again, designed for the uh, RE20 microphone. Again, those folks at Heil being smart and uh, make it so that this thing slides right in there. You've still got a spider looking type thing, but look at how much extra height you've got on that. Same concept with the, the rubber bands, but uh, a different range of positions. You can have this thing, you see this, if you've ever watched ESPN's Mike and Mike, this is the uh, the stand that they're using with their RE20s. Uh, and this again, same thread will connect to any boom, what have you. How do you attach these things to your desk though? Well, I showed you the clamp before. The clamp is going to come with most of these mounting options. It'll clamp right onto the end of your desk. I wouldn't put this right on glass. Uh, you're asking for trouble if you do that. So it'll work best with a wooden desk. Uh, you could clamp this on, and then you'll notice this post. Well, now we're moving into a whole different kind of boom arms. This is the Heil SB2. This is what I would call a stick boom. This thing will extend like that, and it will fit right into one of these. 
and then you can move that around. If you've seen our shows in the past, we've used these a lot. Now that's theoretically attaching to the bottom of the desk. This can move around, and then any one of those shock mounts could attach to it. But what if this is just too ugly for you? What if you don't want this on your desk? What if you want a more permanent solution? Here's one. I actually forget the model and it's not printed on this. Sorry about that. This is a little uh, desk mount. Same concept, three screws into your desk. What if you want a more permanent, elegant solution than that? They make these flush mounts. This thing sits flush with your desk. Little ring clamps up underneath. Now you've got to drill this, and they sell a drill bit for this at like a Home Depot and a Lowe's type situation. Uh, you can drill these into your desk, and then your boom arm or what have you fits right in there like that. Very professional, clean surface. We've got a few of those, and, uh, and they're really nice. Uh, there are still a few other options for you as far as, uh, as far as this setup. One thing I want to mention, that insert point here is, is not standard. That's specific to Heil. Other ones will kind of fit, and I've got one here. This is uh, an OC white desk mount, flush, uh, not, not flush mount, desk mount, that we used for, for years. The nice thing about this is the Heils will fit in there with a little room to spare, but the OC white booms will all fit in here, and the bigger sort of more industry standard booms will fit into here. What's a boom? What are you talking about when you say boom? Here's a boom. I'll show you this one. This is, and you know what? Uh, this is one of my favorite booms of all time. The, I've got uh, some gaffer tape over it, so it's not as obvious on camera. You know, you get the little white printout. But underneath there, it says Heil PL2T. This is a, a great boom to start out with. It's about $100, cheaper than the OC white booms. Uh, it's quiet. It doesn't make noise when you move it around. Wait a minute, Dan. That's not a Heil PR40. No, it's not. It's the Telefunken M82, and that's my go-to mic now. After years of using the uh, Heil PR40s, uh, a friend of mine found out about these mics and told me about them, and I've been using it for all the stuff that I've been recording. It's an amazing mic, about the same price as the Heil PR, uh, PR40. But anyway, this has its own shock mount, different from the others, same concept, lots of little elastic, same boom thread, and of course it works perfectly with the Heil uh, uh, boom. Why not? It's a standard, so you can kind of use whatever mic you want. Uh, the nice thing about a boom is you can get that microphone exactly where you want it to be. Now, this is our setup for doing the video shows that we do, like the Dan Benjamin Hour that I do every day. So I've got this in a different configuration than I might if I was doing a purely uh, audio podcast. I have been practicing for a long time on mic technique, and, uh, and, and so I know how to get it uh, my technique working and still do video and have it be kind of out of the way. This isn't necessarily how I would recommend it if you were getting your boom. I would recommend a more traditional style setup for doing audio stuff, which would be about like this. And then it's sort of hanging down in front of you. Not so good on camera, right? It doesn't look good for doing a video show, but this, this, is the ideal setup. This is what you want to work toward if you find yourself doing a lot of podcasting. This thing can get into any position, sitting, standing, uh, totally comfortable, best thing in the world. And what you can't see off camera, I actually have that in one of these clamps, just clamped to this desk. Uh, so that's about it. I would love to hear your questions. You can find me on Twitter. I'm at Dan Benjamin. You can learn more about uh, podcasting by going to podcastmethod.co. And of course, all the shows and stuff like that that I do can be found at 5x5.tv. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out. Again, hit me up with your questions at Dan Benjamin on Twitter.